Right, welcome to this review. Uh, it's for some new terrain by GameMet.eu. Uh, they've produced some sci-fi terrain here and it's uh, very appropriate for games of Warhammer 40,000. So this is the industrial landing pad set and then they've also done some industrial walls to go with it as well. Um, I've already done some terrain sort of along this line, so this is a uh, new designs come through and I'm interested in this one because I'm building up sort of a Skitari uh, Admech sort of ammunition supply depot sort of map uh, with one of the Martian landscape uh, battle maps that GameMap.eu produce. So there's some more terrain to add to this and particularly interested in this industrial uh, landing pad just here. I'm going to review it in this video here, I'm going to unbox it, take a look inside and then give you a close up view. Uh, of the details as well. So I think we'll start with the industrial landing pad first of all. So this is it's exactly how it comes to you when it's sent. Everything's always, uh, with GameMap.eu have found that everything's always packaged very well. Never had any issue with things being damaged uh, in the post. They do ship worldwide. Uh, so even to places like America and Australia and so on. So, nice polystyrene packaging. This does look quite smart. Yeah, I think this is going to suit the terrain very well. I'm just going to take it out of the bag here. So, there it is. That's the design. Solid all the way through. And that's the kind of size. Uh, let's see if I can give you an idea on size here. So, there is a bow predator. Not that's going to land there, but it's more for something like a land speeder, uh, that kind of size. However, that just gives you a sort of a scale idea of how big this thing is. But uh, it's a nice job. It's ramps up here for infantry and so on. And then uh, the actual landing pad part there on top. So, I'm going to zoom in here so you can see the details. So uh, it comes pre-painted, just this kind of uh, silvery uh, effect and then it's like a, a muddied silver and then uh, some browns on there so it's nicely toned down. Uh, what you can do and what I'm probably going to do with this one is give it a spray of varnish just to hold everything together and then add some chipping and some ink effects and some paintwork. You can paint some nice chevrons around here and really make it look really good. You can even stick on sort of Games Workshop ac accessories, things from your bits box if you want to customise it for 40k. Uh, but it's an excellent foundation just to start just there. I think you could easily turn that into a 40k style, add their own Games Workshop icons and things and accessories onto that and then uh, that would look really good. But there it is. That's just the thickness of it there. You can imagine even buying uh, like a set of three of them, four of them and have them all in uh, spaced out be quite a nice theme to a game. Bless that. Uh, we'll take a look at the walls, the industrial walls now that go with this set as well. So I'll, I'll keep this on the screen so you can keep an idea of scale. So the walls come in a smaller box here. Like so. And then they're all individually wrapped. And bubble wrap. And again, painted up the same, so they do match really well. Bless those just there. So uh, defence and then uh, holes for uh, units to fire for as well. So that's the inside and then that's the outside just there. And again, you could easily, uh, I would give it a coat of uh, matte varnish if you want to add to it add, and then put your paints and inks and washes and chipping effect over the top of that. There's even room here to add things like imperial transfers and so on. It could easily be done as well. Uh, but the foundation colours are done for you. Um, Aimat.eu, they haven't uh, forced you into a certain colour scheme, just giving you sort of a foundational colours and then if you want to, I mean it's good enough to play with as it is straight out of the box, uh, but if you want to add your own colours on top then these are easy colours to work with. But that's that. That gives you an idea of what you can do. So you can add defences around uh, the landing pad like that, or you can make your own sort of longer defence lines or however you want to use it. But nice and flexible shapes. We'll see how many you get inside the box. So just one. I hope there'll be enough so that you could do a perimeter all the way around at the landing pad. That would be a good thing. So, there's three. It looks like ten here. I'll keep unwrapping these. 
Right, let's just zooming in there so you can see the details, that's the front, and then flip it around, that's the inside just there. You could easily do some chipping effect on here and some battle damage would look pretty good. Uh, sort of weathering with the rusty effect running down as well would look pretty cool. That's a close up view of how those industrial walls look. Right, so that is, uh, it is 10, yeah, nice set of 10. And that should go all the way around that, no problem. But that's gonna create a, a pretty big set there. So, I mean, a, a couple of sets of these and you're gonna fill your table up. Uh, and use these as Aegis defense lines, same rules, easily can do that, no problem at all. Smaller sections is handy, nice weight to them. They're solid uh, resin here. So there's nice weight to them, they sit nice and flat. And then if you wanna do your angles at 90 degrees, and so on, then uh, that's easy to do. So you can do small defences, large ones, even angled like that, and they look pretty good as well. And then they match up to the sides of this pretty good. So you you can put a, a trench line along here, run around uh, to defend that like so. So there it is, that's the uh, two sets. Then they sort of go well together. Uh, game map, you either do sell them separately, uh, but industrial walls, uh, and then the industrial landing pad just there. But check them out, scanmat.eu. Uh, they're the ones that produce this terrain and they're famous for their battle mats that they produce as well. But that's the review. Uh, thanks for watching and tune in next time.